Hi dancers! It's Mika's turn to compete today. So I'm doing her makeup. Again, I'm testing my makeup skills. And I thought, why not do this while talking about the pros and cons of joining ballet competitions. Now, a lot of you know that I don't like ballet competitions. My students know that. There's just something about ballet competitions I don't like. But I do, as a teacher, have to admit that there are pros to this, especially after joining one. And um, they seem to enjoy it, you know? Like, especially the studio, maybe because, well, they're young, and I guess, like, having time with your friends is really cool. Yeah. So we'll talk about the pros first. Wait, while I do this eyeliner. So let's hope I don't mess up anything. Yeah, but the pros are, um, well, first stage experience, especially here where we don't get a whole lot of time on stage. I love that um, it gives them a chance to know if they actually like the stage. Because, I mean, this is our job essentially, right? Our job is essentially to like the stage because <laughs> they're going to have to be on it forever. So they have to know if they like the stage or not. And, um, well, getting to see other dancers also in your level is really nice. And getting to see other dancers in your level from other schools is really nice because, of course, we don't get to talk to other dancers who are from other schools, which is, you know, like, not something we do. We don't have time to do that, right? I mean, I know social media is there, but it's different to see them up close. It's nice to know your level where you are. But of course, not everyone joins competitions, but just gives you a bit of perspective. Um, and then enjoying the stage or seeing if you actually like the stage. That's definitely a pro. Why is it hurting? Okay. So seeing if you actually like the stage is like a really like nice just reminder for you maybe if you're not yet professional. Do you like performing? Do you like the thrill of it? What's your goal for it? Do you actually want to perform? That's that's a good question, right? Because this is gonna be your job. You're gonna be on stage forever. So do you actually like the thrill of it? Just don't open your eyes, okay? Okay, and um, making friends is kind of just the extra because you don't make friends in competitions. <laughs> I'm very friendly. I mean, like, you know, I know people stare a lot. I mean, I got a few eye rolls yesterday <laughs> and my students were like, teacher, they rolled their eyes. And I'm like, that's not good manners, guys. Like, in general, not just, you know, in ballet. So don't roll your eyes because if you did that to your ballet teacher, I'd poke your eyes out, honestly. So please don't roll your eyes at other people. Um, that's not just, it's not even about, um, you know, competition. It's just about manners. <laughs> it's like, why do you do that on stage? It's not good manners. It's not good practice. So if you rolled your eyes at me, I know who you are. I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I do know a lot of people watch our vlogs. So I feel like maybe that also comes from that. And I'm not pressured at all. So anyway, um, so those are my pros. I think the y YGP experience is really great because, I mean, we don't have this a whole lot in Manila and I think it's a good chance for them again to get out on stage. Um, well, while they're pros, of course, there are cons and I am, of course, I know a lot of the cons because I, I didn't like competitions before or in the past. So why didn't I like competitions? It was just that, I guess for me, ballet's always been an art and I couldn't see it as a sport. I want to do a comparison video to figure skating, wherein they actually allot a lot of, like they allot points per kinds of jumps and turns. And I don't think you can do that for ballet because ballet is, you're playing a character on stage, unlike skating where you're kind of just skating and then trying to get your 
point equivalent or something you can actually compute the number of points you're gonna earn it by the end of it or you could tell in your head and, you know some people kind of just like wing it and add more points so and I did not know you do that <laughs> anyway so the cons is um sometimes I see age inappropriate variations now of course this isn't to blame teachers it's just that sometimes it's it's too hard or you know like too much for the student and like the student's still really young and then they gave such a difficult variation now I know the purpose of a competition is to show off or maybe some teachers try to do that but it's like where's the art here so sometimes I feel as though is this good for the teacher or the dancer that they're kind of just trying to show off to each other and be like my student can do like three turns and I'm like, I don't really care, honestly. It's like, my student can do two nice turns in a nice turnout and be fine. It's just that I think there's no... It's not like skating where we need to actually throw like too much turns or this. It doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, see, she understands it. So, yeah. And um, of course, the cons of it, the drama. I don't know if it's a con. I think it makes you really strong to have a lot of drama or have a little bit of drama. You just need a little bit, like a good balance wherein you're not killing each other. I've, I mean, you guys don't need like crazy drama for this. But yeah, open your eyes. Let's just check. Yes. There, guys, look. I did the eyeliner. Now has eyes. My sister's of um, <laughs> my sister's like super Japanese, so yeah. Unlike myself, I have huge eyes, so yeah. We often differ in our eye shape. This thing is like a permanent marker. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, like it's writing like a permanent marker. Anyway, so. I think the experience in full or what YGP is bringing to the Philippines is pretty good and it what it also means for the Philippines I think it's great also that they're trying to expand out is this brush okay um but I think an important thing to remember especially if you're a first time person is that ballet competitions don't determine how good or how bad you are you know if you fail in the competition it's just three minutes you know i think the class is where you want to actually do really well wherein you get seen by the judges and it is a scholarship competition so i mean they probably watch you also they also want to offer scholarships and they look at how good you are i've seen competitors be different on stage versus in the actual competition it's funny i once watched a girl who could do everything well in her dance and then when she got to class she couldn't do anything you know i'm not judging her it's just that the dance is just one thing you know learning dances and i'm surprised that some teachers just want to teach dances you know how lazy are you to give class guys you know like class is like your main goal like they look nice in class that's what they're gonna be doing forever in company and of course some teachers are like they argue you know they're not gonna be dancing in company i'm like so you're doing this literally just for the medal which is kind of funny for me because you want to create artists who want to appreciate the art watch ballet you know at least that's for me because we want to elevate the art altogether. so i think um i think the main thing is that you know, maybe you have to try to see what type of competition you're joining first because apparently there are competitions that are less known and, you know, just more for the medal. The reason why I want to aim for a little higher is not just the quality of the competition but also the scholarships that it offers and I think that's great and you have to work towards a certain goal probably and, um, you know, do the work. Because I've seen a lot of people, like for example, some dancers here I know and I've seen them a whole lot. I mean, they've been competing, but they haven't been offered any scholarships. I mean, it's great that they're getting time on stage and they get to do this one variation that they love a lot. It's just that they're not getting anything out of it except for just all these medals. And it's almost like you're just collecting medals. And it's great. We all know you're good. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're good. And then what now, you know? So I don't know what your goal is if it's just really to win. Because if that's all and you've dominated everything, what next? Because while ballet 
unlike sports, we really need to consider a lot of these things. Um, are we really elevating the art form or are we harming it a bit? You know, I'm, I'm kind of in that stage as a teacher because I love ballet. You know, I love it. I'm obsessed about it. It's like I'll watch videos until like night on it. So yeah, that's actually where I am at the moment and I hope that you kind of learn something from me I don't know if it helped you yeah or g gave you a little bit of food for thought at least because I think it's really important that <sighs> that you really talk about these things to your students also you don't just go into competitions and like roll your eyes at each other guys especially we're from the same country you guys should be like encouraging each other to get out of here <laughs> but yeah so i hope this gave you some food for thought i finished her eyes see that's it <laughs> until here actually didn't finish her eyes because i still need to do the bottom <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna continue and then um, i think this is it though for my competition talk um i think you always have to think about your aim is it to get just to get noticed or do you just want to show off on stage um or do you actually like it as work or as your job or is it like to get scholarships because i think you could learn a whole lot from competitions and that's what i have to tell all my kids all the time you know you guys are great they all know that they're great dancers and i think you have to remind them that they are even if they don't um place you know they're great like they can do a lot of things <laughs> it's not doesn't mean that you're not good and um yeah i hope that was like insightful to you again this is teacher lena i'm gonna try to finish her stage makeup you guys can stay around so that you can see the finished product Something like that we still have to fix her eyebrows but we just finished her makeup so we'll take you guys on another vlog today i hope you guys enjoyed this one thanks guys <laughs>